Good morning, everybody. Rick here. Today is Friday, April 21st. Time is 8.26 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, uh, not much anything going on right now. So, we've just been sideways all night long and still sideways. So, look like it's trying to break out of this little bit of channel, bit of a channel right here. But, who knows? So, we'll see. Um... So, uh, yeah, yesterday was really good as far as being able to catch all the ups and downs. So, today, uh, we have the uh, 50 period moving average uh, in effect. And right now, I do believe we're actually in a value area. Let me see. All this stuff so congested in here is really hard to see. Let's see if I can move that up some. Take a gander. <clears throat> okay, yep, it just entered. Well, it looked like it's trying to enter back into the uh, this is value area low here. Point of control is at 5083, and high value area is 5097. So, about 20 ticks right now to reach the um, value area high at this point. So, uh, yep, uh, it's not an area I'd really like to play in just yet, so we're, we're going to wait it out and see, and um, see if we can uh, get some kind of an entry today for Friday, so hopefully this will be a short day. Alright guys, uh, I'm going to pause and we're going to wait and we'll see what happens, so I'll be back shortly. Okay, here is my thinking. We are going to be bouncing off of the eight moving average on the way up. So, and then, uh, this looks like this is probably going to close within the value area as well. So, 80% rule, uh, would come in effect then as well. Okay, uh, long 10 contracts, 5068, stop sitting at 63. For a five tick stop, look to pull half off at uh, 50.78, uh, right up here. And um, actually, I'm gonna pull probably eight, eight of them off there, and uh, we'll let the last couple ride. So um, that's gonna be lining up with this um, 50. Uh, period average as well if we can get up here so uh, and um the bear or bulls are actually fairly strong as far as what's going on uh coming in with the volume so looking at uh time and sales as well too so all right i'll be back in a minute we'll see what we what we can do okay perfect i uh, got half <clears throat> actually i just took half off um and we'll adjust accordingly at this point. I'm going to move my stop on up to break even now. So, five contracts long, uh, 5068. Uh, theoretically, next pill point should be 88, but um, I want to see what we're actually going to do right here off of this um, uh, moving average. So, all right, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, good run, good run going on here. I peeled two of them off at 88 for uh, 20 ticks. And <clears throat> we'll see if we can get on up here to value area high at this point. So <clears throat> that leaves me three contracts long, 50, 68, stop still sitting to break even. Uh, 60, I'm going to leave it there for just a moment. Uh, let's see here. Pill spot 98, and that is uh, for one contract. Um, and I may adjust that one on the fly. This is looking like this is going to turn into a, a reversal sequence here. Um, hard to say. Then again, that might be a lot of take profit from yesterday's drop as well uh, as this is just one big single number and I'm not seeing a cluster area build here so all right uh, we'll see uh, when this bar closes and we'll be able to gauge it from that point
All right, I'll be back in, well, what time is it? Let's see, 8.49. <clears throat> Actually, I'm, I'm starting to like this area a little bit. All right, I'll be back in just a bit. Okay, went ahead and moved my stop up to, say I'm three contracts long, I moved two of them up to 78 to lock in 10 ticks, and one still sitting at break even at 68, and I'm probably just going to leave that one for quite a while. So, uh, I'm going to try to peel one off at 98, I may bring that down to 96, just depending what kind of momentum we'll go into if it gets up there. And at this point, we're just uh, managing the trade here. So uh, everything's working out good so far. All right, be back in a bit. Okay, um, this big thousand print right here. I believe this is uh, people just covering their positions for Friday and wanting to cut out early today. So um, we're hanging on into to this long right now. And we'll see if we can get a valid reversal sequence uh, at some point. So long three contracts, 50, 68, stop sitting at 78 for to lock in 10 ticks. One of them sitting at 68 at break even. Let's peel one more off at 50, 98 for 30 ticks. All right, be back in a bit. All right, stop hit on two contracts, still long one, 50, 68, stop sitting at break even. And still trying to peel one off at 96. So <clears throat> we'll see what happens here. This reached up to... The uh, <clears throat> close at the point of control starting to head down again, so uh, we'll see what happens here if this is just a pullback or not. Uh, just kind of in waiting mode and uh, managing this last position. I may add back to it again, not sure yet. So uh, we'll see. All right, be back in a bit. Okay, last stop was just taken out, so out of this trade. So right now I'm going to watch, see if we'll get some kind of a... Uh, reversal sequence and uh, we'll go forward from there all right out of the market on the sidelines at the moment be back in a minute okay uh, I think I'm looking at a sequence right here not the strongest in the world but there's a lot of uh, block numbers in in this area here so I kind of back 9 to 19 here from 74 64 would have been a trigger area and I've entered long there, 10 contracts, 50, 64. I look to pull seven of them off at 74. Stop is sitting at 54 for 10 ticks right now. But 54. We're going to bring that on up to 58. And that is going to be... Uh, Six ticks. Eight, nine, six, one, two, three. Yeah, six ticks. Okay, six ticks stop right now. So we're going to see if we can get this uh, seven off at 74. All right, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I went back and looked at this. The formation is all wrong. So I went ahead and uh, scratched it out, but uh, it was for uh, plus three ticks on that one. Got out of 50, 67. <clears throat> so we're going to wait out and get back to the uh, formations that I like to see. So I was kind of pushing that one a bit. And don't want to give back anything for Friday. All right, I'll be back. Okay, hop this one long. 10 contracts, 50, 58 is basically uh, based off of the low. It's been testing it uh, all pre-market and hadn't been able to uh, keep failing there. And watching, uh, there's a lot of uh, absorption still going on down here. So I don't think the bulls want to let it break past this. So... Uh, 10 contracts long, 50, 58. Look to pull seven of them off at 68. And I will let the uh, last three kind of kind of ride. I'll probably be peeling to some degree. So if we can get on up there. But this level should hold up here. Uh, hang on. Let me get this adjusted. So there. And stop is going to be sitting at 50 for an eight tick stop, one tick below the low. <clears throat> so, 50. All right, so we're just going to watch now and see what happens. All right, I'll be back shortly. Wow, I was all kind of wrong on that one. <laughs> that was a, a block. Um, let me see here. What is this? This might have tr uh, triggered from a uh, technical move uh, with a breakout to the bottom side there. Uh, wow. 
Okay, all right, we got that big 11,000 cluster here, 42. Let me see, what do we have down here? 3227, 3222. All right, <clears throat> uh, what's the casting still smack dab in the middle as well? Not quite sure. This is going to form a reversal sequence, so this is more ideally what I look for. So 43 is account, 33 would be trigger level, 23 would be stop. Somewhere, uh, I'll look for absorption somewhere in there. So, 33. Alright, um, dang it. Okay, let me watch this one and, uh, we should get the, uh, ideal setup here. Alright, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, that came within one tick of getting me filled at, uh, actually, no, it didn't. 43, 33. Six, uh, within three ticks anyway. Okay, so it started pushing up. I set a limit at 44 right here off this point of control. It just got filled just shortly ago. So along 10 contracts, 50, 44, look to pull seven of them off at 54. Stop is sitting at 35 right now uh, for a nine tick stop. And um, we'll see what, what's going to happen here. All right, see if we can get these off and uh, redeem that last trade. All right, be back in just a bit. Okay, uh, went ahead and pulled it off at 52 for eight ticks. Pulled seven of them off. Uh, eight ticks. Stop is sitting at 42 right now. Uh, one tick below here uh, for a two tick stop, and we'll, we'll let this one um, try to ride it on out here so all right this is uh gonna be active managing here so uh again i don't want to give anything back today so ideally would still like to get on down to 33 uh 33 to 23 that's the uh, 9 to 19 level based off of uh this bar right here and that's an ideal feel so it's still it's still a chance it may push down there uh but it just broke the low Hadn't closed below it yet, though, at 51, so uh, hopefully, ideally, this will be a wick, and maybe we'll get a second wick off of here as well. All right, uh, be, or, I mean, not a second wick, a uh, longer wick from this current bar. We still got 14 minutes left on it. All right, I'll be back in a bit. I tell you, CL is a feisty one, so I stepped away for just a bit. Got stopped out at 50.43, so out of the market at the moment. Okay, I'd still like to see a push down to about 33 and probably take that long. So that one didn't close below settlement. I mean, uh, below, uh, the low of the day. And my thinking is this one probably won't either. But ideally, uh, I'd like to get around the 33 to 23 area. And with that being the case, this possibly, I would probably need the stochastics to come on down, which would mean it would actually close below the uh, low of the day as well. So, uh, so we're just in, we're in waiting mode right now. So, uh, CL is determined to take back some profits from this week and I'm not giving up any. So we're just going to wait for the perfect setup and uh, see if we can grab it from there. So uh, yeah, I don't think in anything less than 33 or anything more than 33. I'm not interested in coming in to play just yet. So and right, I'm going to watch and um, watch for about another hour anyway. See what happens here. All right. I'll be back. Okay, here's a push down I've been waiting for. Long, 10 contracts, 50, 27, right here off the 5 deviation line. Stop sitting at 20 uh, for 7 ticks. I look to pull a half off at uh, 37, or 7 um, contracts off at 37. And this is going to be my last trade of the day, regardless what happens. So we'll see if we can... Ended out on somewhat of a positive note, so I think I'm sitting pretty close to break even right now. So, put a couple dollars in the bank anyway. All right, let's see what happens. Be back shortly. Oh, CL, you are a mean one. So, all right, I got stopped out there. Actually, I adjusted it up to 23. Um, realized that uh, that was the threshold of the 9 to 19. So, 
uh, four tick stop on that one. So, um, at this point, it's a wrap. So, I think it's a down day today. I uh, gave back a little bit of money. I don't think it was too much, though. Uh, but I'm not going to have too much worry about it. So, I'm going to wrap it up and uh, go enjoy the outdoors some. So, and we'll be back to ready to roll on Monday. So, all right, guys. I will see you. And uh, you guys have a good weekend.